What's up everybody, Superdorks fan here, and uh, this is the new BMW M2 Coupe for uh, 2017, and man, it looks great. Uh, from the pictures, I wasn't so sure, but in person, this thing looks really great. You know, it's got all the uh, great BMW bits, you know, the drilled rotors and the little fender vents there, and... Uh, just a lot of really great proportions. This car really reminds me of the E46 M3 in a lot of ways. So, uh, got the great M seats here. Checking out the interior here. They are definitely deeper than the M235i seat bolstering. I felt that they helped me in a little bit better here. Hopping inside here, though, those gauges. Now, if that doesn't remind you of the E46 M3, nothing will. I mean, the gray backs and the small, simple dials, really great. Oh, man, this car just really was cool to me. Anyway, uh, you got the nice paddle shifters here. Uh, this is available in a manual, thankfully, so that's awesome. But this one obviously had the dual clutch. Same basic BMW interior. Otherwise, you get in all the other cars, and um, you have the cool uh, Alcantara parking brake boot there and um you know you get the dry carbon fiber there uh, on the doors just a really cool little you know bits and pieces here and there but see the bolstering uh felt really good it's not amazing but it's certainly uh better than uh, other bmws uh such as the m235i which i thought was lacking a little bit in the bolstering department anyway uh coming around to the rest of the car here the front end really nicely sculpted front bumper uh, looks really aggressive. It just works in person. Uh, in pictures and stuff, eh. Uh, but in person, it, I, it warmed me over pretty quickly. Look at those rear quarter panels, though, bulging out. This car looks really great, from especially that back end. It's it's really, really nice. Um, just every single angle, though. There's not a bad angle. I love the side profile, though. You can see the bulge even there at the side profile. But just a really great, you know, small dimensions. And these are the kind of BMWs I like, the small, simpler ones really awesome and it's going to have the N55 motor uh, with 370 horsepower so it should be a great performer as well and it sounds uh, even a little more raw than an M4. They had a few um, sound clips that they played uh, during the presentation that I wasn't able to record unfortunately but uh, it should sound really great and hopefully I'll get my hands on one to review eventually and get some sound clips then but uh, yeah so that is the BMW M2.